Does Earth have a new friend? An astrophysicist says it's likely that an as yet undiscovered planet exists on the dark fringes of our solar system, messing with the orbits of celestial bodies in the Kuiper Belt, just beyond Neptune. Rodney Gomez says the new planet could be anywhere from half to four times the size of Earth and is likely a rogue planet that floated over from another solar system. Other space scientists say Gomez's findings may be a lot of hot air and aren't sure his calculations support his theory. Bus kills. We already lost Pluto. Stop playing with our hearts. Give us the new guy. Nat Geo and as yet undiscovered planet might be orbiting at the dark fringes of the solar system, according to new research. Too far out to be easily spotted by telescopes, the potential unseen planet appears to be making its presence felt by disturbing the orbits of so-called Cooper Belt objects, said Rodney Gomez, an astronomer at the National Observatory of Brazil in Rio de Janeiro. Cooper Belt objects are small icy bodies including some dwarf planets, that lie beyond the orbit of Neptune. Once considered the ninth planet in our system, the dwarf planet Pluto, for example, is one of the largest Kuiper Belt objects, at about 1,400 miles 2,300 kilometers wide. Dozens of the other objects are hundreds of miles across, and more are being discovered every year. See three new Plutos? Possible dwarf planets found. What's intriguing, Gomez said, is that, according to his new calculations, about a half dozen Cooper Belt objects including the remote body known as Sydney, are in strange orbits compared to where they should be, based on existing solar system models. Related, Pluto neighbor gets downsized. The object's unexpected orbits have a few possible explanations, said Gomez, who presented his findings Tuesday at a meeting of the American Astronomical Society in Timberline Lodge, Oregon. But I think the easiest one is a planetary mass solar companion a planet that orbits very far out from the sun but that's massive enough to be having gravitational effects on Cooper Belt objects. Mystery planet a captured rogue? For the new work, Gomez analyzed the orbits of 92 Cooper Belt objects, then compared his results to computer models of how the body should be distributed with and without an additional planet. If there's no distant world, Gomez concludes, the models don't produce the highly elongated orbits we see for six of the objects. How big exactly the planetary body might be isn't clear, but there are a lot of possibilities, Gomez added. Based on his calculations, Gomez thinks a Neptune-sized world, about four times bigger than Earth, orbiting 140 billion miles 225 billion kilometers away from the Sun about 1,500 times farther than Earth would do the trick. But so would a Mars-sized object roughly half Earth's size in a highly elongated orbit, that would occasionally bring the body sweeping to within 5 billion miles 8 billion kilometers of the Sun. Gomez speculates that the mystery object could be a rogue planet, that was kicked out of its own star system and later captured by the Sun's gravity. See nomad planets more common than thought, may orbit black holes. Or the putative planet could have formed closer to our Sun, only to be cast outward by gravitational encounters with other planets. However, actually finding such a world would be a challenge. To begin with, the planet might be pretty dim. Also, Gomez's simulations don't give astronomers any clue as to where to point their telescopes it can be anywhere, he said. Other astronomers are intrigued, but say they'll want a lot more proof, before they're willing to agree that the solar system again has nine planets. Also see record 9 planet star system discovered? Obviously, finding another planet in the solar system is a big deal, said Rory Barnes, an astronomer at the University of Washington. But, he added, I don't think he really has any evidence that suggests it is out there. Instead, he added, Gomez has laid out a way to determine how such a planet could sculpt parts of our solar system. So while, yes, the evidence doesn't exist yet, I thought the bigger point was that he showed us, that there are ways to find that evidence. Douglas Hamilton, an astronomer from the University of Maryland, agrees that the new findings are far from definitive. What he showed in his probability arguments is that it's slightly more likely. He doesn't have a smoking gun yet. And Hal Levison, 
an astronomer at the Southwest Research Institute in Boulder, Colorado, says he isn't sure what to make of Gomez's finding. It seems surprising to me that a solar companion, as small as Neptune could have the effect he sees, Levison said. But I know Rodney, and I'm sure he did the calculations right.